all right guys so let me tell you guys what i did um so the day before it wasn't working um i looked at some you know did some research i did some steps i did the the cmos that battery energizer right there with my fingers pointing at i took that off i got a new one just in case the old one was dead already um you might never know um the ramps um I left them in the same slot, but I swapped them. So the left to the right, to the right to the left. So I did that, and I still the the PC wasn't really that dirty. Um, it, can't, it does a good job of staying clean itself, the way how the air flows. I know it's a small box, but um, I didn't see anything else uh, loose or you know anything weird, you know. Um, so okay, after when I had showed you guys the video of the other, vi the, I'm sorry, the video that I posted showing that it was you know going on and off so this time when I after I did the CMOS and the swap um well not swap yet but I did the CMOS and I took one card out and then turned it on to see if there was display anything so it didn't display but it stayed beeping so it stayed beeping for a long time non-stop it wouldn't turn off um but it, it'll, it'll start but it'll stay beeping but nothing will display but I was just reading that there's beep sounds, if, like a speaker would include like some little speakers with a wire that connects to your PC, I guess. Um, if it beeps once or twice or three or four, or I don't know how many times, that means something like like a check engine light code. So uh, just look it up. But I looked it up. I looked up what, why is it just staying beeping? Um, it says something with the motherboard wasn't connecting. So either I figured it was that missing graphics card. I mean, not the graphic, the RAM or... You know, but um, I put the I I took the ram I turned it off and I took the both rams out. I made sure they were clean. I mean, I still air dusted. Um, I swapped them and then I started the PC again and it stopped beeping. But it started up and then it was loading and then I saw the screen low too. But then it turned off again. But uh, I thought I was like, oh shoot, maybe it is my power supply, but it's not. After it rebooted again, it stayed on for a while, a couple seconds more, and then. Just turn off again and then turn right back on. So I'm guessing after I took the CMOS, all the settings got reset it. So it, it was rebooting completely. So after that time, it turned on. Um, you know, sh you know when you start a brand new computer, um, when it has like you know letters, letters. You know, it's a black screen but with letters, and then the tabs F1 continue or your you know troubleshoot or your you know you know like the main settings of your PC before you get to the actual Windows. You know, um, so. I started it up and it was fine. Um, the only thing I can think of is since Warzone is getting too hectic, um, I'm pushing the RAMs maybe because I know I have more stuff in the background downloaded, more uh, programs. So I need there eight and an eight, so sixteen, and then Warzone needs mostly sixteen gigs of RAM, which I was looking up. So um, I need to upgrade that. Um, my add a hard drive here because there was a plate here that I took off. I might take out the CD drive, I don't really need it. Um, but uh, yeah, let me turn it on for you guys. Let me show you guys. Oh, sorry, I disconnected it. Let me uh, plug it back in. I know it's dusty on top, which is weird. It's dusty on top, but it's not dusty in here. All right, it is plugged in. Let me start it. There's no beeping, no nothing, everything's running. Well, it'll beep once because it's booting up, but uh, it's good enough. It doesn't take that long. I like it because it loads right quick, guys. You see, I started up. Um, put my uh, password. You see, it lo loaded up. It's going to load the programs and everything up. Um, there it is. Still going. Um, I st I'm still doing some testing. I, mean, I don't know if the thermal paste might be where it out behind the, the CPU fan. Um, that's something that if it does crash on me again or turn off or... I see something going on that's going to be the next thing I'm looking forward to. But um, like I said, uh, I do play this PC a lot, like a regular video game. Um, that's all I do, mostly play video games. And um, like I'm saying, I do play long hours. So I'm I'm here to show you guys, you know, this PC, how, how good it is. I mean, I thought it was letting me down, but I don't know. Maybe it got loose, the RAM or the CMOS died. I don't know. I, it's hard to say uh, because I didn't... I, did both without actually starting testing them but as uh, you can see like programs or you know something's installing um, and all that but um i do have a set uh, not a setting uh uh a program that my computer came with um it's called care care center oh it's still loading please try again later i guess it's low i guess it's uh 
reading the uh, the stuff going on in the background. I'll give it a second after this is done. But um, yeah, let's see here. All right, guys. So I opened up my program. Uh, as you can see, the voltage of my CPU, the internet, the Wi-Fi. So my RAMs are right there. So I got the basic. I have two, two, uh, eight and eight, so sixteen. So right now, alone, just by starting on the PC and this program open, it's already using almost five gigabytes. So imagine if I play Warzone. Warzone requires, uh, you see, everything's opening up. Um, I don't know why that one always opens late. Um, but uh, yeah, Warzone requires sixteen. So I'm guessing now. I'm overclocking it, maybe I'm, I'm you know, pushing it. I kind of do a overclock Warzone a little bit. I mean, you know, a little bit of specs better, but here and there. But I was just throwing five gigabytes out of out of 16 that I'm using right now. Um, but I'm looking at, you know, the temps, CPU and the GPU. Um, temps are, are fine. Um, the CPU, for, for some reason, it's CPU and GPU always are about the same. Um, I'm seeing it jump back and forth, so my I, don't, I still like I said I still gotta do some testing on that thermal paste. Maybe it's uh, kind of wore out. Don't know yet, but uh, that'll be the next step if it crashes on me um, because it's jumping too quick. It's about 10, 10 degrees difference. You see, but it's not going over sixty one. But uh, CPU, uh, I mean I can control the fan monitoring. My CPU sixty two twenty one max minimum. But uh, like I said, I gotta keep an eye on it and what's going on um, with everything. But if it's if the CPU is getting hotter, then then I got a problem with the thermal paste. But um, there it is running. I did play some Warzone earlier. Oh, it's dropping. You see, it's dropping. So it might be just an up and down thingy. But uh, I am gonna open Warzone right now so I can show you guys. Let me pause it here. Alright guys, I opened Warzone. You guys can see CPU went up. GPU is going to go up in a bit. The fans are working a little harder because it's powering it up. But it's weird because it's still blue, 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 blue. So it's normal for it to be, I guess, around here, the Predator specs. But I'll still keep an eye on it. If I can make it cooler, even better. But I'm monitoring. So right now I'm using 10. But I may once I open the game. I mean, uh, let me load it in. Let me pause it again and show you guys. Alright guys, I'm in Warzone. Put the volume up. Um, let's see, GPU on top, as you guys can see, is going to start going up. It's always about 80, 81, but with the case open, I, I might stay about 5 to 6 degrees cooler because I was noticing that when I was playing yesterday. Um, but uh, let me see. So we're showing that it's already using 12. That's what this score open, anything running in the background. And then as you can see, my uh, CPU 78. 66 It's gonna usually these two numbers match, but uh, I'm gonna run some Warzone and then we'll see what happens. We'll go on some solos, but uh, we'll keep an eye on, on this stuff if it's overheating or not. If this number is going too high, then uh, I'm gonna have a problem with my thermal paste, um, which shouldn't be too bad to fix. Um, but you know, I'm here to. You know, thermal paste is not going to last forever, but I'm here to show you guys, you know, what's going on. But my curious is if this one's going to stay below the number temp that I usually used to get with the with the case closed on it. But um, we'll see. We'll see what's going on. Uh, I also don't, I like to put it in gaming mode, the fans. They'll run more. The, R, the, the RPMs will be higher, you see. So the fans are moving faster, so... So the CPU is at 85 guys, so I think I might have a problem with my thermal paste, don't know yet. But I, like I said, I put it in gaming mode. Every time I play in game, any games, I put it up, you know, it sounds louder, but I don't mind the sound. I mean, it's blowing in the, the air and then, the, you know, I can feel the heat, but um, I'm trying to still see what's going on. The CPU, oh, look, the CPU is dropping guys, but like I said, the case is open. So I feel like without the case, it does better with air. But uh, I, you know, the dust is going to build up and, uh, you know, I don't want to keep cleaning it and then the dust is going to cause problems. But, um, I mean, I got I to gotta either move this whole setup to another new box. That might be the next step. Um, and upgrade the RAMs and uh, see how it is. So right now, as you guys can see, CPU is as 80. 
that's higher than my GPU. Oh, it's going high. That's seeing it that high. Uh, wait, I, mm, it's hard to say, guys. Because it is jumping up and down, but monitoring the highest was at 88. So that's not good to me, I think. But uh, so far, Warzone's still using about 11. Um, probably not using it all but uh let me uh let me try something else okay now i went up the ramps because we're in end game now but let me see control to delete uh test manager um let's see performance so i can see here more so my cpu is using see so my rams are using 13.4 so you see it's almost maxing out. My CPU, well, that's using it a lot because I'm on way going to get to see, but we'll keep this to the side right here. Keep an eye on it, move words on a little bit, and then uh, see what's going on here. Okay, the temps dropped. Do you guys see it? So it's, it's hard to say. It goes up and down, up and down, but I'm going to... I'm still gonna keep an eye on this all a couple days or see or play for a while and see how this is looking guys But um, I'll let you guys know uh, Let me pause it Alright guys, so let's see how it kind of looks um, See the ramps, I don't know if you guys can see my ramps on the left side I, I kind of have the phone on the bottom um, They're at 13.7 out of 6, 15.9 And then I'm playing at a hundred uh, uh, 100 frame rate resolution so it's at 14.1 it's almost like maxing out being shot at I got him I hate the shotgun on the PC. It's like I feel like I got a lag on it. So I got two kills. There's another one in front of me. He has a assault rifle. I got him too, guys. That's three kills, guys. So I'm at 14.7 on my rounds right now. So far, so far, we're doing good with our headphones right now. Um, the crown's right under me, guys. So my memories are 14.8. My CPU is showing 100. Um, let's see how it looks with the. Okay, G CPU 78. Like I said, 81 won't go over. It's crazy. The GPU is staying at a. 75 so with the case on right here 75 you see on top i don't know if you guys can see it but on top of my screen i'll put it down it's right here because i have my phone is just staying somewhere where i can't hold it right now 75 so this usually gets at 80 81 or 82 with the case on so i like how it's looking with the uh without the case guys so i don't know if i want to play without the case but then again it's not good you know so i don't know what to uh he's right there Nope, he ran away, guys. So, yeah, I'm running about 14, almost, it's almost maxing out at 15, guys, with the uh, Discord open, um, Predator Sense app that is what that you know is monitoring my heat and my you know the percentage. Um, about 15, so I, you know, I will need to upgrade my RAMs just in case it's costing a, there's somebody there, just in case it's costing a, you know, somewhere like a. Oh, he's running. Sorry, guys. I'm a little uh, focused and unfocused. Um, so, yeah. So, I don't know if that's causing my game to freeze. I mean, like I said, I didn't have no issues before in the past. Oh, he got me. I was too slow for that. I didn't have no issues in the past, guys. But, um... Uh, he was already looking at me. But, uh, like I said, uh, there it is. You know. And then, um... You know, let me see. Let me, I gotta hit the escape so I can uh, show you guys. So, you guys see my CPU is still doing okay. So... I might 
open it up and put thermal paste maybe um, but I'm not sure yet I'm still doing some testing but I'll do another video monitoring you know 78 and I mean you see it's still using about almost it's almost messing out my vans but yeah guys there it is if I have another freezer issue I'll post another video but I'm gonna do some upgrades um, I'll let you know what upgrades I do thanks for watching like and subscribe and leave a comment thank you if you have any questions let me know